War Diary Day 637 of Russia's war against Ukraine. It snowed in the night and you can get a sense of just how ridiculously beautiful Kiev is right now. But we're a city under attack. Yes, we've had two um, important visitors, Lord Cameron of Snooty and uh, Lloyd Austin, the American Secretary of State for Defence. Cameron um, said lots of nice words, but promised no money. Austin promised $100 million. Fighting the Russian killing machine, you can burn through $100 million in a day less. Really, Ukraine needs tens of billions of pounds to be secure. And what matters in politics is not what people say, though what people say is important. What really matters is what they do. And we in the West have not done enough to support brave and glorious Ukraine. So the consequence will, will be, will land this winter. Will Ukraine have enough missiles and ammunition to de defend itself from the Russian threat? Last night, I, I heard awful stories about continuing Russian special forces raids in Cherniv, which is in the, a city to the northeast of here. The possibility that the Russians are gearing up for some surprise attack. I would have thought in the modern age with drones, the Ukrainians would be onto that, but I don't know for certain. The problem is, for the appeasement lobby, you've got to face the consequences of what you've done by not giving the Ukrainian stuff enough materiel in a timely fashion, then many more Ukrainians are going to die this winter. Soldiers, yes, but also women and children too. It's so saddening. Still, Ukraine isn't giving up. There is this beautiful place to defend and defend it their will. Love from Kyiv. Oh, and Vladimir Putin. Do fuck off.